Okay, in this video we're going to look at multiplication and using the column method. Now the column method is a method that I personally learned in school. I didn't really learn the grid method. And a lot of uh, sort of older people, uh, older people, your parents perhaps, will be quite familiar with this method. Um, both methods are perfectly fine. As long as you can multiply and get the answers correct, then that's the most important thing. So, let's do 32 multiplied by 7. So we've got 32 multiplied by 7. So... You do 7 times 2, which is 14. You put the 4 down into the units column, and you put the 1 from the 14 here. You carry it over. 7 times 3 is 21, plus the 1 is 22. So you put down 22. So 32 multiplied by 7 is 224. Let's look at 215 multiplied by 9. So again, you set up your column method, or your column. So 215 multiplied by 9. So, 9 times 5 is 45, so you put the 5 down, and you carry over the 4 from the 45. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13, so put the 3 down, carry the 1. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19, so you put 19 down, so 215 multiplied by 9 is 1935. Okay, let's have a look whenever you're multiplying a two-digit number by a two-digit number. So we've got 25 multiplied by 13. So again, set up your column method. Uh, whenever you set up your columns, I tend to put the uh, smaller number underneath the larger number. So I've got 25 on the top and 13 on the bottom. So, uh, first of all, let's times the 25 by the 3. So you're going to do five times, or 3 times 5, which is 15. Put the 5 down, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So we've multiplied 25 by the 3, and we've got 75. Now we need to multiply the 25 by the 10. When I'm doing this on the column method, what I do is I add a 0 first of all, because it's a 10. So I put the 0 down. Then I do 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 2 is 2. So we've got to then add these two numbers together, and then that will give us our answer altogether. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, so put the 2 down, carry the 1, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So 25 multiplied by 13 is 325. Let's look at another example. Okay, this time we're going to do 72 multiplied by 54. So put down your 72 and your 54, and we're going to multiply them. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 7 is 28, so put the 8 down, or put the 28 down. Now we're going to do 72 multiplied by 50. So again, put the 0 down first of all. 5 times 2 is 10. So put the 0 down, carry the 1. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36. So you put down 36. And then you just need to add these together. So you get 8, 8, 8, and 3. So the answer is 3,888. The key thing to remember is that whenever you're multiplying by 50, you put your 0 down first and then you multiply the number by the 5 and you get the rest of it. Okay, this time we're going to do something a bit harder. We're going to do 435 multiplied by 123. So again, you set up your column method, 435 multiplied by 123. So, 3 times 5 is 15. So put the 5 down, carry the 1. 3 times uh, 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So put the 0 down, carry the 1. And 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Oh. <laughs> 13. Okay, now we're going to do 20 multiplied by 435. So put the 0 down first of all. 2 times 5 is 10, so put the 0 down, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And 2 times 4 is 8. Next, you're going to multiply 435 by 100. So you're going to put down two zeros this time. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. And 1 times 4 is 4. And then you just need to add these together. So you get 5, 0, 15, carry the 1. 1, 9, 10, uh, 13, carry the 1. And 5. So our answer is 53,505.